Millions of people are struggling to care for young children and elderly relatives at the same time, putting their own lives on hold and juggling tight finances. That's what the charity Carers UK is claiming today on Carers Rights Day. Andy Bevan spent the morning with one woman who's part of a growing group known as Sandwich Carers. Liz Perry does make sandwiches pretty much every day, but that's not what makes her a sandwich carer. This is a generation either side of her, her two-year-old daughter Jasmine and her 67-year-old father Bill, who has health complications after prostate surgery. Both rely on Liz 24-7, which means the single mum's days at home near Dudley are full to bursting. Get up in the morning, sort Jasmine out, come up here, dad comes to me, um, and then we just do all the cleaning stuff here, take him shopping, cook meals. Nationwide, there are an estimated 2.4 million people in the same position as Liz, according to the charity Carers UK. They say some, like Liz, cope better than others, but the pressures, both financial and emotional, can be huge. Finding affordable and suitable childcare at the same time as you're trying to find support for older parents can be a nightmare for many families. And when the pressure's too much and they give up work, that brings cost to families, but also cost to the economy and to society. Today has been designated Carers' Rights Day, an opportunity to highlight the problems faced by sandwich carers and for the charity to offer help to those struggling to cope. Bill had to give up the business he ran and can no longer pursue his passion for walking and mountain climbing. He says he prefers having a family member to look after him rather than a professional carer. If we go shopping, we'll make a nice day of it, go for a coffee and do our shopping and come back and then she'll do me some lunch and, you know, she'd want a bit of telly and play with the granddaughter and things. So it's nice to have a, a family member around you that, you know, is there all the time. Amazingly, Liz manages to find time to study for a degree in criminology and hopes one day to return to work. That may ease the family's financial dependency on benefits, but Liz could still find herself caring for its younger and older members. Andy Bevan, Central Tonight. A business